five years ago, and I'm sorry, dates aren't very good, uh, we decided that we wanted to be able to sit in our sunroom and look out at uh, what was a former farmer's field and make it into something more natural. So we decided that we would like a, a meadow and a wetland and we got in touch with the uh, Conservation Authority and uh, together with a couple other agencies we decided to, to go with it and they implemented this meadow for us. Um, we've been watching it the last few years as it takes shape. The meadow that the Grand River Conservation Authority helped us with is eight acres and what we did is we took it out of production, it was in corn and soybeans, and we uh, converted it into a wildflower meadow that is primarily focused on attracting pollinators and wildlife. We put a small pond in the, uh, in the corner, I think it's about a half an acre, uh, and sometimes it'll dry up. Um, but it attracts a lot of wildlife, a lot of uh, toads and frogs and turtles. We like the birds and the bees and the insects and the pollinators and uh, we're anxious to have as much nature as possible visible from our residents. So we encourage everything from bees and bugs to snakes and turtles and uh, putting in a meadow we hoped would help with that goal of bringing a full cycle of nature uh, to our doorstep. Uh, to complete the meadow project we got funding from Ducks Unlimited and from the uh, Rural Water Quality Program and that helped us decide to, to go ahead and do it. Get in touch with the authorities who know what they're doing and let them do it. Um, we're happy. <laughs>